I'm David Hogg, I'm a GP on the Isle of Arran, which also means that I'm a doctor in our community hospital. Occasionally you have to be a police surgeon. I'm a teacher of medical students, I'm a GP tutor. I've got a role in the mountain rescue team. I help to look at connectivity on the island and I'm also a basics responder, so it's a good job to have. Arran has lots of attractions. 5,000 is our population of people who actually live here all the time. Um, but that goes up to 25,000 for, you know, certainly at the, at the peaks of summer. We're an island, so um, we're only two hours away from Glasgow. So if it's three o'clock in the morning um, and the weather's poor, we're very isolated um, from these, kind of, um, these other kind of services. So it's quite a dynamic situation. We go from being quite connected to the mainland and then very quickly, in the space of even, you know, 12 hours, we can be very isolated. As a GP, I was quite keen to retain a lot of the skills that I'd picked up through my GP training and also as a medical student. It becomes a cliche that, you know, you can wake up in the morning and you really don't have any sense of that you're going to have the same day as yesterday. But I think that all of us as GPs primarily want to deliver the best care we can for patients. And here there's a real sense of that because ultimately we have less access to secondary care, to hospitals. We can access these, these settings if necessary. But the first real port of call, the first person who has ultimate clinical responsibility for your presentation is, is normally a GP on Aaron. I come across my patients, I think, much more regularly than a GP in, say, an inner city uh, general practice. So my patients are the ones who are absolutely serving me in the co-op or mending my car or uh, helping me with certain decisions, be it in the bank or uh, in the library, somewhere like that. I see myself continuing on Aaron as a GP um, for as long as I can think. Um, having been on Aaron for five years, I'm developing interest in teaching uh, in IT in some, some respects, uh, again in some kind of aspects of emergency care. Um, so yeah, who knows where I'll end up, but um, you know, I'm very happy with what's, what's happening just now.